Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today I am at Dartmouth. I'm visiting my brother and it's homecoming weekend. So I just kind of want to bring you guys along to watch me pretend I'm a student, I guess. Um, I am working on some school right now, sitting in his dorm room while he has class. And we're just gonna hang out, try to have a fun day while I'm still doing school. So yeah, tonight there is the bonfire and the parade and everything. Tomorrow there is a football game, more festivities, so I just want to bring you guys along. I might stay overnight in his storm. We were camping. Um, I mean, we have been camping. We will be camping, but I might just like set up an air mattress in here just to live the student life. So yeah, um, here's here's this view. It's it's a front row, so that's fun. But yeah. We're going to head out to the dining hall. My mom has a meeting, so my brother and I are going to go um, once he's out of class. So, yeah, I'll show you guys some of campus, and it should be a pretty fun day. I did get some work done. Um, I was doing some FRQs for one of my AP classes. Not super fun, but it needs to be done. So, yeah, I'll see you guys at lunch. So I want to show you guys kind of like the size of his dorm, and I'm going to show you a little bit of the residence hall too. So here's like the entry, here's the door, and just this wall. And then over here, there's a closet over here, and here's his bed, and the window, and then on this side there is a dresser, and down here is a nightstand, and then his desk is over there too. But here's the view. So there is a lounge, but there's a guy in it, so I can't show you it, but I'm going to go down the hallway and try to show you some of the other stuff that they have here. Of course, the lounge at the other end also has somebody in it, but each set of like four rooms has their own bathroom and shower, so they don't have to share it with too many people, which is pretty nice. But yeah, I want to show you the lounge, but maybe later. <laughs> got the first part of lunch and it's like this rice and then like it tastes like taco meat almost it's really good I, I don't really know what it is but thumbs up then we'll go get dessert course number two is ice cream and I got Reese's Pieces on it so yum My brother's in class right now, so we're just walking around campus um, till he's done. But we're going over to the green to see what the um, firewood structure thing looks like. So apparently, um, according to mom, students used to build their own fires. Of course now, like they have fences and everything, so can't touch the fire. But it used to be a student bonding experience. A freshman class would get together and they'd go collect old furniture from people in the town and they'd throw it in a big pile. There was no construction company that came and built an official fire. There were no fences. Yeah, well, now we have safety first.
I don't know for, why if college is just like exhausting or something, but um, all of this like going around places and having to look composed, you know, not just sitting on the couch in my pajamas, is, it's really taken a toll on me. So um, I feel like my transition to the collegiate life might be a little tough, but I've been going around and meeting all my brother's friends, and we went into the library and saw some of the rooms in there. It's a super cool library. We also went up to um, the physics building, I think it was, like has a big glass wall that was cool we looked into a classroom um so now we're gonna have dinner and then come back for the fire so we're back we just parked now we're gonna go like hang out and walk around some stores and just wait until the fire. Um, I changed my fit a little bit. It's the same sweatshirt, but I put on another sweatshirt under it because I don't want to be cold. I think I might get cold tonight. So yeah, we're just gonna watch a parade, watch a fire, just hang out.
So it's Sunday morning and we're all packed up and ready to go. We're gonna head home and I guess I'll do my outro there once I've like showered and gotten warm. I'm a little, little chilly right now. I had a really fun weekend, but I guess I will see you guys at home to like wrap up this video. So I'm home now and I just wanted to reflect on the weekend. It was a super fun weekend. Um, we stayed up there for three nights. I did not end up staying in my brother's dorm room, but I think I'm going to do that another time. Um, I just don't feel like I would have gotten the typical student experience by staying there on homecoming weekend just because there's so much more going on and I didn't want to like cramp his style if he was gonna go out or something so I will do that another time and bring you guys along with me to test it out I guess um from what I saw it I mean it was very vibrant there of course because it's homecoming and like everybody's there but um I'm not sure if Dartmouth might be a little quiet for me um the rest of the year so that's something that I wanted to test out as well so that will be coming to my channel eventually um also I think it might be a good idea to test it out in the winter because although it's not that far from here um the winters are still worse so that is something I have to keep in mind when I am trying to choose where I want to go to college so yeah um homecoming was great the fire was awesome um it's just amazing how much it's changed um since like what I remember there never used to be any fences or anything um uh, now there are three and they have like security around it keeping people out because there is such a like culture around touching the fire everybody's like yelling touch the fire so um they're trying to keep people safe of course and now they have a construction company build the fire itself like my mom was saying um that they had that in 2009 as well but that fire was still much much bigger and now they're just like trying to be safe while still preserving traditions which is nice but it is sad that they have had to change everything also when we were watching the parade um we saw dump trucks come in because apparently they bring in these giant dump trucks like full of gravel and stuff so that there is no possibility of like a terrorist coming in and like running over people or whatever so that is kind of scary actually that they have to protect against that but it is like a really real thing so that's definitely not something that you would have seen like a while ago but yeah I had a lot of fun exploring campus going to homecoming and everything so let me know what you guys think make sure to follow me on all social media at rosie revolts and check out my etsy shop also at rosie revolts and my book at getoutdoorsbook.com and i'll see you guys later bye Thank you.